felt natural for me to paint the flag because it's something that's been ingrained in me since I've been a child. It was something that felt natural for me to do, just to explore the idea of painting on the flag and including uh, my style of a, like a graffiti texture to the surface. There's no blatant disrespect to the flag by any means. Really what it is, it's, it's me um, exploring the essence of what the flag means and to me it's an organism. That flag represents my flesh and it represents my blood and bones and, and the flag as an organism has the ability to get sick. The red represents the blood and the fire and the energy. There's drips and there's um, other tones in it that are more warm tones to bring it out almost like a fire. You have the white, that's the flesh of somebody who's getting sick. The blue represents the people. Those are usually compiled with names, people that I admired or mentors or other names that were important to me. Uh, they have named the finalist in Let's Come Up With a Video campaign mm. for uh, the Democratic push for health care reform. And one of the finalists is a bit of a surprise. You're seeing the video right now. The flag that I painted for the video wasn't supposed to be considered as desecrating the flag or insulting anybody. It was basically to show the flag in motion in that time lapse as an organism. And those were the issues and the certain things that were under the under the healthcare debate. It's just compiled onto the flag until the problem doesn't get solved and the issues and all the problems basically overcome the flag. Um, destroy the health of the nation, which is basically the people that are suffering. It turns out that it became one of the top 20 finalists. As this is one of the winners desecrating the American flag. Yeah. It was featured on Hannity that uh, Obama administration was um, basically sponsoring me to desecrate the flag for liberal views for people who hate America. And they got the American flag splattered with, with graffiti. They use the word, you know, graffiti as a way of like, you know, saying that I'm some total scumbag and I basically was desecrating the flag um, in honor of the Democratic, you know, party. Um, it was total bullshit. This video was produced by someone who bills himself as the king of graffiti in Los Angeles. Healthcare graffiti. And then it went to O'Reilly. It does Bill. desecrate the flag. It does. Bill. It does. This is the flag. This is the American flag. Is there nothing that we can respect now? It starts hitting, you know, all the, the, the right wing nut websites for ugly, man. It was thousands of comments of people saying I should be uh, dragged to the streets, I should have my hands chopped off, I should be, you know, pulled to pieces. One lady said, uh, uh, desecrating the flag equates to killing Jesus's puppies. So apparently I killed Jesus's puppies. Not only do you wish death upon children, but uh, uh, puppies and everything that's American as well. So it really uh, turned into this like uh, little bullshit whirlwind where these uh, right wing nut conservative total whack jobs took it as a, a point to expel their frustration when in fact they were totally ignorant to the whole entire topic and um, you know I'm happy to be America's enemy number one you know please by all means it makes my art more valuable so you can all fuck off really you can keep it coming so, you know Fox News you know you can fuck off Hannity I would actually like to smash your teeth in fuck you all that's right my street that's right it's Pepper's world I'm an artist who has epilepsy and I have no way to get health care at this point. I've had so many emergency room visits at this point, I've lost count. And you know, this isn't me getting dizzy or anxious or something. This is me like getting hit with a Mack truck with multiple grand mal seizures in a row. I've been out for days. My shoulder dislocates, my face bones dislocate. I cannot get health insurance because I'm uninsurable. I've been denied by all health insurance companies. I think the fucking insurance companies are the most foul, evil entities on the planet. To have somebody between you and your health to tell you that you're not worth the care when there are facilities available is a travesty of our nation. I felt the need to continue this because um, obviously I'm not done. There's still more flags to be painted. 
recently I've worked with uh, Richard Duardo and uh, Modern Multiple Studios uh, with Daniel and uh, we're putting together uh, a flag print. I really like the process of, of the printmaking because it, it allows you to you know create these multiples but at the same time play with uh, different versions and, and kind of the process. I feel the need more to instead of uh, building the images on a computer to uh, paint them basically live there so do one screen, paint it um, on the film, on the light board, and then um, basically start adding up the screens so that it's almost as you as an as you go process. Just go in there, spray paint on it, <laughs> scratch it. You know, I was just scratching the hell out of it with my knife, and that's a lot of fun, really, because you get some really cool textures. In essence, these prints are all uh, uniques. Um, I use different painting techniques to kind of create certain blends on it. The one is the, the straightforward red, white, and blue version with the layers. The other version is a black and white layer. It's almost like this wicked, sinful-esque like, element to it. It's another, it's not the American flag, it's something else. It's just a representation of it, so there's no connection to the actual American flag. We took one of the black pieces and then we gold leafed them with a 23 karat gold leaf to add that much gold onto the surface to, to go through the process of gold leafing. It's almost like blessing it. I really love the process. I think it's a very interesting process and I find it very forgiving and very uh, adaptable. <laughs>